planes were developed 100 years ago and there hasn't been any big leap since. We can do very short distance efficiently, we can do very long distance efficiently, and there is that whole thing in between that you still need to drive to and it's not really convenient, and that's where the hyper really comes in. I was just watching SpaceX subreddit because I love to watch rocket launches and suddenly someone says on the comment section of, of the same thread they're doing a Hyperloop competition why don't we do a Reddit loop submission and everyone's like that's cool yeah we should do it Overall our team is composed of around 40 students a bunch of really scrappy undergrads who you know aren't entirely experienced in this but these guys are willing to you know, just go out and figure out how to engineer a system. It's a really cool problem to tackle as an engineer. You need a long track in which you make a vacuum, in which you can test something uh, for some time. You need to show that you can do the maintenance on those. Even if you build something, you need to show that it's feasible at large scale. From the start, we've been focused a lot on kind of the practical aspects of Hyperloop, you know, being able to sit in this thing and travel in a vacuum at high speeds. Collaboration is probably the most essential part because you are coming here as a large group to build something that takes multiple engineering skills. You have pneumatics, you have levitation, you have chassis. What I find so interesting about this engineering project is that it has a huge effect on the way people's lives are. If we could have something that could allow people to travel further distances for cheaper prices, for more affordable rates, then I think you would be able to solve or alleviate some problems like gentrification in the Bay Area. So if you can have satellite towns, satellite cities, and you can have a way so that people can still commute and not be late on their work, this idea will basically revolutionize the way they think about transportation and they can live their life in a new way. So how soon do I think the Hyperloop will be a reality? I don't know, some, a lot of people are looking into it. So hopefully, you know, 10 years down the road we have something soon. We'll see.